Greetings everyone and welcome to a very, very ambitious mod once again in episode 3. In the end of a new beginning mod in which we have the Eulenberg Expedition has returned to us on July 3rd, 1861. After almost two years, the Eulenberg Expedition has docked in the port of Danzig earlier today. We should welcome them after this long and successful trip. Welcome home! Uh, Prussia has proven that it can effectively represent all Zolverein states internationally. This will improve our relations with the other Zolverein members, and we get two ships back because we lost one. So apparently, I reload the game, you know, new day, new start. And apparently we have a new some options here. We can dedicate military forces to work uh, military forces as workers, which is not bad. Or we can de dedicate industrial power. Now I want to save our civilian factories because we got a lot of stuff to do here. And it's only us three doing stuff here. So let's dedicate us here uh, when we get some manpower back, hopefully. And under construction 21%, and hopefully this will go okay. And I got quite a few comments to go through, and we begin with the American Civil War. Bada bum bum bada bada bum bum bum. Cool. Well, good luck, guys. Uh, now, I kind of would have liked to see, like, demographically. Oh, hello. This is kind of cool. I like this. We are now engaged in a great civil war, testing whether a nation of people, by the people, for the people, or any nation so conceived and dedicated can long endure. Ex unus pluris. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole, oh, that's kind of cool, debate, confederate, union side, whatever. But I would like to see, like, demographically, because, you know, technically, Kentucky is a southern state. And the little heel, the boot here of Missouri is as well, so... It'd be kind of interesting to see, like, like, yeah, these are the actual, like, lands, but, like, demographically, what... Because there was so much fighting going on in, in the war, you know, br literally the Brothers' War here for the United States. And West Virginia is still part of the Confederacy for now, but we'll see what happens with them. Uh, regardless, we've got quite a few comments to go through. Oh, send Captain Justice Scheibert to serve American Civil War. Oh, right, that seems kind of a good idea. Let's try that. Anything else down here? Um, not really. Game options. Observe the American Civil War. As American Civil War rages on in the West, some of our military advisors and officers have gone West in order to observe the battles that are taking place there. They will then take note of some of these battles and will use this knowledge to help our own nation. Great. I love it. Let's let America kill itself so we can learn from their mistakes. Let's see. Do they have a unique focus? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Retake Fort Sumter. And does the American focus tree change, maybe? When the war starts, 16, no, it doesn't look like 60, 1860 trail, Buchanan presidency, reconstruction era, disastrous reconstruction, oh boy, study the civil war, further academia, oh, I'm going to promote it, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead, this happened last time, so, it is what it is, moderate candidate, controversial candidate, consolidate the, cons ooh, constitutional unionists, uh, I do like that there's so many different things you can do here. But, like I said, some comments. Let's see. Someone recommends we go all the way until after World War II to end the campaign. Well, I don't know about that. We'll see how far we get. Just because this campaign is probably going to test my patience for how long I can play a campaign. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, let's welcome the SMS Neobi and SMS Mosquito to our Navy. Ahoy! Nice! We got the two warships we wanted. And where are they? Ah, they're all infantry. Cool! Oh, yeah, and the ships are back, too. Nice. Hatha, Arcona, Mosquito, and Niobe. How many capital ships do we have? Well, we have three. It's not bad. Earlier today, one of our fabric manufacturers ran out of the various raw materials required to produce fabric and have closed it down because of it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, we must get more cotton. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um. There you go. I mean, there was a couple, actually quite a few comments for people from people saying that we should support the Confederacy. There's a lot of people say we should support the Union. I'm going to say, I'm not going to support anybody right now. I just want to make sure we can do well. So, we'll watch with with our eyes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see what Peru wants. Let's see, Peru? But Peru's looking kind of long there. I don't think Peru's normally that long. And Bolivia looks a little weird, too, but whatever. Nice. Um, What's going on with the wars and the battles here? That is a, just on fire all over the place. We love it, though. Look at that naval speed. Not bad. North German Confederation. Uh, let's go and do Ruin's Reform Bill. Albrecht von Ruin has suggested some reforms for armies. We shall enact them. Royal decree to expand our armed forces over the next four years. Good. It's a historical option, so I think that's probably what we want to do. Other comments. Balance out... Oh, re-escalation of the Argentines of War. Oh, interesting. Cool. Balance out autocratic versus monarchist stuff. Yeah, we'll probably do it like that. We'll try to balance things out. Ooh, consumer goods. How, how are we doing with this stuff? I don't remember. Palm Palmern. Oh, that's not bad in November. That We can get a slight boost if we want to, though. If we really, really want to. Ooh, will we open a textile mill? Yes. Um, 
I mean, Ukona Carnival. We currently get minus 0.1%. This does help us a little bit, but not like an extreme amount, but it does help a little bit. We want to get that stuff done. We currently get 0.83 every single day. Wait, where's the thing about Greece? Oh, there it is. Uh, no minor or major influence from other great powers. Cool. Woolrich Electrical Generator. Very cool. Uh, reconnaissance would not be bad. Uh, more recon production base. Ah, more base is always nice, right? Let's see. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, for the past few episodes, I've, 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 I've tried and failed and succeeded sometimes passing reforms, right? Passing reforms, getting different levels of society, we'll say, and for our economy and the country. So, apparently, when we do these uh, internal politics, we'll say, yeah, and we do vote on it, apparently there's a little button there, or the, the, the thing in our decisions states that it's an estimate, like with the, how many votes that we have. Apparently, they're all estimates, and I should have realized that before because I could feel the frustration from some of you saying that, Mr. Mocha Lover, can you please just read what's going on there? And I probably should read, so. <laughs> So I understand your frustration, but yes, I should probably read a little bit more closely when looking and selecting reforms and figuring out what's happening in the world, or at least within our country. Cool. Uh, Radivitz Wilhelm, hello. Oh, we have infantry there too. Eberhard Werwolf von Wittenfeld. And von Poiker. Uh, well, actually, Konstantin von Hochenzollern Hackingen. And we'll promote the other guy. Edward, hello. And we have enough command power to do this, so why not? Cool! If anyone needs a train, please go right ahead. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. It should be happening w by the end of this episode. We should be at war with Denmark, and hopefully I can move in there pretty quick. Oh, there go, Peru. Yeah, let's see what we can do with the Peruvians. Minor creek influence. Just, I'm spending this just so we get slightly more consumer goods for a little bit, right? Because I want to build this a little bit faster, but then again, consumer goods. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Preußischer Volksverein. The proclamation of Italy and its subsequent recognition by Prussia once again inspired the German national movement, this time especially among the conservative clientele in Prussian countryside. The foundation of the anti-liberal conservative Prussian People's Association of Preußischer Volksverein uh, served the purpose of bringing about a Russian, Prussian-led United Germany by a for, force of arms as need be. Uwe Alles and developed more war sport, legislative power, traditional conservatism. Uh, is there anything I can do about these guys? Can I... We, we need decisions. Wow, that is a hat you're wearing, Frederick the Seventh. Carl Christian Hall, you got some hair, man. You've got some hair. Cool, so 60. Could get camels. Improved tracks. Sure, why not? We like more stealth attack for horses. Prussian homeland. I don't see too much there. Hopefully, Prue says yes. Uh, Sweden. Sweden would probably be pretty good. Ooh, we need negotiations in there, anyways. Eh, I'll we'll probably start increasing relations with the Swedes, regardless, right? Led by Kles Gunther. Hello, Kles. Anything else? We're still improving ourselves. How many... Uh, what are we out of? Not too much. We just need more cannons. Runes of Farmville. Very nice. Oh, wait. Do we have to vote on that? Oh, maybe we have to. Mm. That's after 61. January 1st. Wait. Oh, the budget has to be granted. Okay. Promote Landwehr. Okay. So, maybe instead we will do... Maybe something like that. What else can we do around here? No. Swiss Embassy. How about that? We need an embassy in Switzerland. Okay, the king approves. The king approves the presented reform plan wholeheartedly. Gross Atish. Cool. And here we need two more, which we're working on. Parliament in opposition. The majority in Parliament opposes the presented reform plan that aims to extend the term of service and demote the Landwehr. Things could get ugly in Parliament if we don't find a compromise that is acceptable to the elected delegates. Ach, Herja. Uh, what is this one? By the power of the, okay, beginning of the army reform recruitment, we can begin the expansion of our armed forces as ordered by decree. Uh, well, oh, okay. Someone's really investing here. Oh, oh, we have all oh, these guys. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. All right. I'm not sure which one's better, honestly. So the top left one's on the guards. And the right one is inf line infantry, so basically the same HP, and actually these guys have the exact same combo with, but these guys do have artillery, which does throw in a little bit more soft stack and defense, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, more organization on the right. More recovery rate, same amount of reconnaissance, slightly uses less supply, but then they have artillery too. Slightly more soft attack, but that's just because of artillery. 
Honestly, these guard units, they don't seem as good. These guys actually have a little bit of heart attack. Defense is slightly better for these guards, though. And a slightly better breakthrough. Hmm, piercing. These guys have no piercing at all. Then again, that breakthrough, 9.1. This gives them 1.6. So, uh, breakthrough is pretty much exactly the same. And the Argentine support, good for Argentina. Good job, guys. Let's slightly less weight. Other than that, there's not really a huge difference, so... There you go, become infantry. Okay, there you go. Uh, let me go right there if you can. No, don't do that. Go right there. Because you can. Alright, what's over here? Reconnaissance? Why not? Why not? And we're still building ourselves up, which is fine. Other comments? Yes, estimate for a vote. Wait, where is the voting thing here? Ban opposition parties? No. Consequences are stability and legitimacy? No. So... A royal decree ordered by the king himself. You must muster more troops over the next four years if we have the manpower, equipment, and money to do so. Finalize recruitment as quickly as possible to avoid running into more problems. We lose stability if we don't do this. Effects when completed, we lose PP, command power, um, army expansion. So we basically have to vote for it. Okay. Oh, 50%. Not bad. Yeah. Let's go look at our focus tree then. Is it here? No, we have to do the budget thing. Oh, so that's the culture in question. So it's always false. We gotta wait for that then. And let's go look here. Alright. Okay. Wow, this, this lags hard sometimes. Woof! But not nearly as bad as it could be. Budget, military, military, economy, population, internal budget. I mean, economic mobilization. Oh, mobilization laws. Partial mobilization? Can we vote on that? Undisturbed isolation, huh? Why, why is it lagging so hard right now? Is someone... Look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, well, maybe that's why. Unification of Italy. There we go. Remarkable. Good job, Italy. Except for Papal States. Foreign Treaty. Except great. Thank you, Peru. What scoundrels will you would be if we did did ourselves what we already to do for Italy. Cool. Proclamation of United Italy. Proclamation of an Italian nation state greatly influenced the German public. A growing number of people, especially among the bourgeoisie middle class, so wholeheartedly support the idea of a German national state. If the Germans were able to do it, why can't the Germans too? Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. Death of Zhang Feng. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Well, let's read about this stuff before we actually try to do that. All right. More defense, thank you. That's gonna take forever to do. Close that out. Get over here, and oh, treat Swiss or Swiss Swedes, Swedes. All right. So we're currently on early mobilization, which is not bad. Helps us with the civilian factory construction speed. Uh, does give you less political power. It does give you slightly more consumer goods. And it does actually hurt by 15% because civilian factory construction speed, but it does improve military factory construction speed by 10%. So you get more factories to use, even though the speed at which you construct them is not great. Elections of 61. Uh, the, the delegates of the Liberal parties will have emerged as winners. It seems that the Liberal turn in Prussia will continue. Okay, well, whatever. I don't really care. Wow, that's a lot more. I mean, that's kind of fine. I don't. I honestly don't really care too much. Oh, diplomatically recognized Italy. Yes. They don't like it, the Austrians don't like it, whatever. Whatever. I don't, I don't really care. Swiss Embassy, cool. Um, yeah, I don't like this. Where's the... I guess we have to... I don't know. The budget thing. The budget's been granted? I mean... Hmm. Whatever. Uh, Russian diplomacy in Europe. Policy towards France. Cooperation with England? I kind of want to do that, just in case. Rivalry with England. I don't know. That doesn't seem like it gives give us a lot of stuff. I don't know if I really want that. Maybe cooperation with England. We should cooperate with the British. Why not? I mean, if we, even if we lose stability, whatever. A-OK. -okay. Army expansion by decree, so, I mean, 
Mm, demographic stuff, advisors. Oh, maybe another advisor, actually. Working class figure. Uh, trade costs, we can't get them yet. Friendly capitalism, daily centrism support. We lose quite a bit of political power that way, but I don't consider them good. It ain't too bad. Civilian stuff, infrastructure. I like that a lot. Mm. Well, maybe to help balance us out, we'll go with this guy. Just because it gives us more consumer goods. Let's go with that. 0.86 is still not too bad, so. And now it should balance out slightly more. 0.26 goes up. Goes down by 0.25. Why do we have so much centrism support here? What's going on? Uh, Army XP, trading time, dockyards. We still have more comments to go through as well, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, there it is. A new era. We have a new era. That's what's that's what's helping us out with that. Cool. So we're here on limited conscription. Extensive. Wow, extensive conscription really hurts you. Well, we could go that way, but. So I guess, but the budget, they just want to expand the budget. But there's no thing that says 1860 budget here. There's nothing here. Hold the speech. Careful approach. Take a careful approach. I'm not going to read that. Um, muster more troops over the next four years. Well, how many troops? Power the AOK. -okay. There is no, I don't see any AOK -okay here. Muster more troops over the next four years with manpower money do so. Finalize recruitment. It, so all I can assume is just conscription level. That's all I can assume. Budget, or just wait maybe, or maybe or maybe there's a budget in the decisions or uh, country. The proposed reform plan will help expand the army for the first time since 1850, but that takes money, so an increased budget must be approved by Parliament. We've just received news that the suggested budget for this year has been granted provisionally. Although this is not unproblematic, we can continue with the reform measures for now. Go to Nakrishten. So, is that enough? Is that not enough? I mean, you're really not told anything here. So, I guess? Oh, uniforms are nice. Happy 1862, everyone. I'll go do that one because we can. There it is. Economic policy is 3% of the budget, but... How much of the budget do we need? Just, I guess we could probably go to Prussian army eventually. And it's a good daily arm XP gain, you know. That's good. Foreign trade you accepted. Very, very good. Land purchase. Not bad. Ooh. Zolverein has secured a number of trade treaties with foreign countries. The latest with Sweden. This will boost our economy. Look at that. Cool. Maybe we should go for 5% of the budget. Hmm. Factory output? Sure, why not? Because we can still use more factory output, especially for cannons. Hmm. Oh, let's see other comments. Yeah, someone did say that this mod is pretty much the antithesis of how I usually play when it's very slow. I like playing fast. Very fast. And someone recommends we try to form Mega Germany. I don't know if we can or not. I have no idea. It looks like Romania is trying to get formed because they're both here. Scheibert comes back. We send Captain Julius Scheibert as an observer to America in order to observe the American Civil War. And to learn... Now, what the hell's going on? I don't care. However, after several months, it seems that Shabbers learned anything he could and decided to come back. If I have lost cool. I really don't care about what's happening down in Mexico. I really don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mexico does not interest Prussia right now. The French, Spanish, and... The Brits don't like that, though. Detrimental colonial impact. Huh. Minor church influence. Okay. So, we have the fleet going on. Oh, do we not have... Wait, did we do the thing for Pomerania? Are we increasing ours to... No, we're not increasing that anymore. I don't see it. Maybe we already did it. Okay, maybe. I guess we did get it done. Maybe? We'll keep building this stuff up anyways, because that's pretty good. Cooperation with England. British industrial investments, maybe? Or do we just come down here? Okay, cool. So now we can finally do it. Demote the Landwehr. Less population, more attack and defense. Less attack and defense. Adjust to your draft. A three year draft. Okay. Let's demote the line van. Historical option. Many members of the line collaborated with the rebels during the March Revolution of 1848 and 49. We should demote this unreliable department of our military juggernaut in favor of the regular army. This might be a way to secure both the majority in parliament and support from the king. Alright. That's better to do just flat out more attack and defense on different territory. On any territory, regardless of defensive, at the cost of on core territory, so I think that's pretty good. 
keep building, 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 building. So yeah, I suppose so that we got that thing done. So let's keep building that up, finish those factories, and then we'll build some more dockyards. We can build more ships. Now, it's recommended that I don't get uh, 25 cap ships or just ships in general for now because it's not worth it. we got to spend some other time doing other stuff, and the colony stuff will come later on. But I want to get this, at least the national spirit, Hoxie Flota, done. I want to get that one done just so that when we can colonize, we'll be good to go. Uh, other comments. I asked you guys yesterday what type of artillery we should use. And, oh. Oh, 64%. We contributed 2%. I hope we get something out of doing this. Uh, that's fine. Keep doing that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so you guys recommended. Let's see. Oh, return of the expedition. Oh, uh, we already did this. In 1859, Friedrich Albert zu Eulenburg, zu Eulenburg departed from Prussia in hopes of establishing relations with some of the most important nations in the faraway lands of Asia. He has now successfully returned from that mission and is reporting tales of negotiations and diplomatic pleasantries with the nations of the great empire of Qing China, the empire of Japan, Ratanakos... Ratanakosin Kingdom. Uh, we already had that guy come back, so I'm not really sure why we get that event again, but okay, whatever. Whatever. <sighs> the port expansion. Oh, we need a naval base and naval doctor there, huh? Well, oh, Yagdbush. Oh, that's when Wilhelmshaven becomes that. Okay, that's cool. Naval base and two... Uh, two naval bases one dockyard. Which will be actually pretty darn helpful for us, though. So. Hui Rebellions. Anything else? Hmm, disinherit our air. What else are we building? It's not bad. I want to build that first. Uh, let's build that dockyard, maybe. Where is the dockyard? Is it still in the same place, maybe? Oh, there it is. Cool. You guys go up top. How much does it cost to build? Ten oh, that's actually a little bit less than uh, these factories all together. Nice. This will be done in 84. Well, that's quite a ways away. But we'll see what happens. Mm, I don't really want to do any other things here. Oh, place another warship thing. Eh, how much political power are we getting right now? We could get another, maybe, some more people in the Zolverine. Oh, what is that? Chile, where are you? Wow, Chile, you are not looking good. What happened down here? Wal Mapu tribe. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Good luck with that. How much XP can we have? A thousand? Oh, 2,500. That's actually pretty nice. That's pretty useful. Construction speed? Yes, please. Other comments? Uh, I, I've said a few times that I want to do a World's Fair. Wait. Uh, I guess the World's Fair is gone. Politicians question the government. Due to the country having suffrage laws, there's a chance... Come on, get rid of that. Uh, that one of the politicians with influence may not agree with their ideas. This has happened today, as well as a renowned Prussian politician has criticized the current policies. This will surely create doubts in our populace. Regrettable. Whatever. Continue army reforms recruitment. We can continue with the expansion of our armed forces as ordered by decree. Vavats? Okay. Okay. Oh. They're all six to with. How... Delightful. There you go. I need to get a new mouse. Oh, boy. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Come again. And train when you're ready. Cool. Anything else we need? Uh, so, yeah. As soon as I said earlier, artillery. So, overall, you guys recommended that maybe instead of howitzers, we should use field guns because they're cheaper. It costs nine to make and versus actually eight. No, hold on. That's 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 cheaper. This costs ten, while the RBL field gu guns cost eleven. So the person said field guns. You guys said field guns. Um, field guns, 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 guns. So breakthrough, slightly better breakthrough. I do like that. Slightly more heart soft attack. Howitzers, field guns. Oh, yeah, let's, let's switch around. There we go. Howitzers versus field guns. Um, so honestly, these have slightly more defense, slightly less off attack. These are cheaper howitzers, I guess, are the way that we're going to go for now. Just because, even though someone recommended field guns, he wanted the guy, the person, the people who said I should use whatever artillery is cheaper. So this is cheaper and it does give you more soft attack. So I'm going to use this one then. So I'll we'll switch things around to howitzers and get some rifled howitzers. Uh, howitzers, yeah, that'd be nice. Max that out. Let's go with two, maybe. Actually, probably gonna need a lot of that. <sighs> Recruitment, infantry. So instead of support, so you actually lose barely any breakthrough. You really don't lose any. You actually get more defense, more soft attack, and stuff like that. There you go. Good. Now we need way more of that. We got a lot of cannons. Go figure. 
Hussars, Ulan, um, Rune Regiments. Maybe that's not good to get rid of, but whatever. Uh, oh, Italy invites us to the World's Fair. Very nice. The Kingdom of Italy has invited us to join the World's Fair. and host it, it is hosting in Piedmont. We can decide to join and participate in this wonderful event where we can also improve our standing amongst the world's nations, or we can not join and instead focus on more pressing matters. Yeah. And, yeah, like I said earlier, there's support from me to both support the Union as well as and or support the Confederacy, so. Well, it looks like they're actually pushing into Ohio. That is impressive, as well as Kentucky. They lost just a little bit of Virginia, but... All right, cool. At the same time, it's just a two-year draft. Now, a three-year draft, because that's a historical option, right? We lose one political stability, but I don't really give a crap. We need more soldiers, plain and simple. Extending the term of service would ensure a significant increase in manpower for a professional army. This will certainly provoke liberal opposition, though. Oh, well. And here we are, currently enforcing a runes reform bill, the historical option. The military is answerable to the king only, not to the parliament. These men have proven their loyalty to the crown during the revolution, and we will make them sure that it stays this way. There can be no compromise here. And which we are still fourth in the world, which isn't too bad. And anything else? Not too much, really. 83%. Wow, look at that. We got 2% there. Hopefully we get paid nothing or maybe something. I don't know. And we're still trying to build up our dockyard and enforce Ruf Ruins Reform Bill. And we shall... Ooh, we can do this. Requires all decisions concerning the Hales Reform to be completed. Um... Okay. Let's see. British industrial investments. Industrial investments will help both of us grow. Well, hopefully. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Well. I don't see any decisions. So, maybe we have to wait. You know, maybe we just have to wait. Which hopefully will be the only thing that we really need to do. We're finished. Army reforms. Those requires one of the following. All decisions concerning the Hales reform should be completed. Because we want to get rid of the legacy of class fits. Because class fits, that kind of hurts us. Kind of hits us a little bit, which is right there, which is not very nice. Well, we have liberal opposition, and our plan to significantly expand the term of service has met with heavy resistance from the liberal delegates in Parliament, which is not very good, but Parliament rejects the budget. According to Article 99 of the Prussian Constitution, every year Parliament has to pass legislation that clearly states the country's expenses and revenues for the forthcoming year. They have granted the budget for the Army reform provisionally in recent years. How Now, however, Parliament has outright rejected the reform bill's proposed budget. We lose alleged PP stability, and we complete this focus here. Uh, the Army reform is stuck between the King and the Parliament. There's a crisis looming due to our current constitutional layout, and we need to, to deal with this. So, no other dissolution of Parliament. Underwhelming political stability. Uh, the period of political prosperity in the Kingdom of Prussia seems ended, seemingly ended today. With the resurgence of politicians and writers, get rid of that, criticizing the current political state of the Kingdom of Prussia. Yet, laws are yet again a topic to fight about, and the traditional conservatives of the Conservative Party will have to put up with difficulties. Um, and the collective opposition against the former reform measures, liberal delegates have found the Deutsche Volkspartei, meaning German Progressive Party. It's the first ever party in Germany with a profound manifesto opposition against the reform plans. Fresh height. Oh, crap. And we've maneuvered into crisis. Decisive action is required to overcome the political standstill and to continue the armed reform. The Prussian Parliament is ineffective, and in that regard, which leads to political problems, we must shake the situation up by dissolving it. All right, well, whatever. All right, let's see. Anything else here? Uh, no. I think we're pretty much done for electronics and instruments for now. Biochemistry? Sure. More monthly population? I don't know what I'm clicking on, but sounds good enough. And we don't have that much manpower. We're mobilizing actually a little bit more, which is pretty nice. And we're still trying to build those naval bases, which is coming on pretty darn swimmingly. Haha. <laughs> uh, so we can build some more ships. So we can get that high sea uh, fleet. So hopefully this will be done by 84? 80... 80... Uh, 1864, 1866, maybe if we get another dockyard in there, maybe. Hopefully, but we'll see what happens. We've got enough su supplies for now. 1868 goes to what? 60, okay, 65. Uh, I said 64, maybe 66. That's a little bit better. Obviously, we need more capital ships, and making the screens will be a lot cheaper. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens, just because I don't want to fade and fade out all the time, because that just makes a lot more videos. I have to put it in and out. So, uh, so after British Industrial Investments... We do get some more political power, which would be good. And then we'll do dissolution, dissolution of Parliament. Uh, continue Army Reform Recruitment. Cool. Very nice. I'm not even going to bother reading that because we've seen it like three times already. So pause the game. And there they are. Cool. Head on over here so we can defend against the Russians. Because someone did say when we go to war with Austria, we might have to fight the Russians maybe if we don't move, maneuver ourselves politically correctly. So we'll see what happens. Uh, minor Greek influence. Nothing here. Really interesting. Cool. And so we, there's three routes here. We can go the King's dis Disposition. Well, it's time to, sh to 
shake off the shackles of monarchy and take the matters of, our state, of state into our own trustworthy hands, the king has proven to be an unreable to reason and compromise. He must go once and for all. This will lead you down a path that has almost no further content at this point. Forming Germany will not be possible going down this path. Oh boy. This one is the king's abdication. Tired of the ongoing power struggle with Parliament, Wilhelm I, King of Prussia, abdicates in favor of his son Friedrich III, who has signaled his willingness to find a compromise with the liberals. It's basically the same thing, you, you don't get to go and do anything. Deutsche Reform Verein. The increasing political heft of the national movement that supported a Prussian led Germany without Austria had scared on a number of people, especially in the Catholic parts of western and southern Germany. The reaction was the foundation of the Prussian Reform Verein that supported a reform of the German Confederation and the integration of Austria. It had a little political impact, though. Was ist das Deutsche Vaterland? Let's go and do this one. I think I already did this, so. Cool. We lose more political stability. It is what it is. Whatever. I don't really care. And then we'll do the historical option here, which is nice and blue. A conflict <coughs> minister Bismarck. At 140 days. Holy bad words. A situation is dire. The king is slowly starting to lose patience. If we want to persevere or preserve the Prussia our ancestors created, we need someone willing to confront Parliament, a conservative hardliner. War Minister von Roon mentioned a promising candidate who currently serves in Paris. Set into motion a chain of events that will make the other foci of this branch visible. Well, I guess things are hidden right now, huh? We will see what happens. Army reforms, well, maybe they'll come on eventually, but I doubt we'll get it done anytime soon. And this one's already halfway done, so I'm not going to fade and fade it right now. And that's fine with me. Anything else around here? Not really. Oh, we did... 14%, huh? 4% done. Not bad. So this one is actually not too bad. March 4th, 1863 is not bad. And we're still trying to build up another level of civilian industry here. So build, 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 build. And build, 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 build. Now, let me know in the comments below. What When you play this mod, if you play it, we have spend out here. What research do you guys go for? Like, what research do you think is best? So let me know in the comments below, just because I'm not really sure what is the best. It looks like... Ooh, the Confederates have taken a little portion of Oklahoma. They lost a tiny bit of Arkansas. They've taken even a little bit more of Kentucky. And they've pretty much stalled out around in Ohio. So, huh. I assume there's going to be like a lot of battleships and warships around the coast. Or just blockading all the Confederate states. Oh, Mexico's. Oh, look at that. Nice. Very nice. And let's do Conflict Minister Bismarck. And Adolf Plinz zu Hohenlohe Engelfingen chosen as new prime minister. One day after the resignation of the new era cabinet, the king has chosen Adolf Plinz zu Hohenlohe Engelfingen as Prussia's new prime minister. Political power, however, now resides in the hands of the Prussian high command, headed by war minister Albert von Roon Vioglück. And, uh, okay, hello. No image. Okay, leader of the country. Very cool. And, but we have no legislative power. And we're actually losing legislative power because we don't have any political stability. The opposition rises. Recently, we received word that the political opposition in a country is on the rise again. Multiple associations and smaller organizations begin to move inside the government, hindering our rule over the kingdom of Prussia. Even if these oppositions are tiny at best, we should be on guard. So what? We're, only the, we're the only ones who can rule the kingdom of Prussia. This sucks. <laughs> but Adolf zu Hohenlohe Ingolfingen holds a speech. Uh, symbolic. Take a careful approach. Take a careful approach. Just be careful, I guess. I mean, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Um, what do we have here? Emperor of Brazil invites us to the World Fair. Very cool. Uh, sure. Why not? And what do we have for research? Nothing here. Cool. So nothing on this page, for the most part. Uh, biochemistry. I like doing the biochemistry stuff. More max factories in the state. Why not, I guess? You know, why not? Place an order for warships from France. Oh, look at that. Now, we have an election campaign. Liberals are looking for a landslide victory with enough electoral corruption, however. We might be able to influence the outcome in our favor. We could place for warships from France. I maybe don't mind that, but... I don't have legislative power for that. Maybe... Oh, you could spend the political power. Surely strengthen our naval forces in the Baltic. Okay. But of course, 50 political power, so... Well, kind of okay for now. Oh, there it is. We can do that again. Well, I guess someone else chose that, so. Budget approved provisionally again. The proposed reforms continue to be accompanied by significant expenses. Well, we once again have to get parliamentary approval for this year's budget. We had just have received news that the suggested budget for this year has once again been granted provisionally. It's not what we had hoped for, but the reform will continue as scheduled nonetheless. Welcome Neuigkeiten. Okay, we lose even more legislative power and stability. My goodness. Oof. Oh, hello. Is that how much Poland actually revolted? Not even Warsaw revolted. Wow. That doesn't look very good, and neither does our political power 
or legislative power. I don't like this. If it reaches minus three, a radical ideology within a country will start getting fra traction. If political stability continues to sink and reaches minus point minus five, we have the expense of civil war, political takeover. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe I should have just kept a lot of political power then. Parliamentary elections of 63, major liberal victory. Following the dissolution of the parliament, there has had to be new elections, despite hope from the king and significant electoral corruption. The Prussian people once again expressed their concern for liberal ideas. The conservatives' campaign efforts seem to have been in vain. The conservative government will certainly have a very hard time pushing their policies and legislation to parliament now. Got for dumped. Well, there's literally nothing I could do about it. We had no political power because of all the crap that happened earlier, so... My hands are tied. There's literally nothing we could do. And why is stability so low? Holy crud. Wow, that's really bad. That is just god-awful. Wow, there's literally nothing we can do about this. Is there? Yeah, I don't know, man. As much as I love how things can change and development for stuff like this, this is not <laughs> turning out to be really fun, knows it? At least for me. Maybe you guys are enjoying this. Uh, yeah, I don't like this Favasan conflict. And what I really do not enjoy, though, is the seemingly... It's not sporadic or random, but I'm going to call it random periods when we have new events popping up. I mean, man... I know it's trying to be historical as much as possible because we are on the historical option, but <sighs> sometimes things come up, sometimes things don't come up, and I don't know when things happen. But hey, look at that manpower. Look at that manpower, shall we? Cool. Are we going to get another event in the next week? Maybe, maybe not, because every time I like fade and fade out, like within the next week, there's literally another event. So what's the po there's no point for me to do anything then, like to speed things up here. So I don't know. I really do not know. And how are you guys almost done? Looks like you guys are really killing yourselves here. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so it looks like when you get to this current level, then you're done, which is okay. But scavenger, fort buster. Oh, what are we? How are we looking at? I did expand the cavalry divisions just a little bit. So uh, it was the cuirassiers. I just put a bunch more heavy artillery, heavy cavalry on them. Oh, I got two things done. Nice. Uh, anything here? Yes. Factory to state, factory output, population. Way more population. Let's do this one. Cottage industry. And process engineering. Uh, sure, why not? We'll grab ba chemical vapor disposition. There's literally nothing else we can do. Well, after Bismarck, I wonder what's going to happen next. Hey, but we're third in the world. I'm not sure how. Probably just military projection, really. Oh, do we finish the dockyards? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, we still need more ships, obviously. Let's see. Oh, we need two naval bases there. That'd be good. To get two naval bases in Hogginsport expansion. Um, you know what? Let's finish this one first. And I'll still build another dockyard as well at the same time. 35% is not bad. In Danzig, maybe? We build two. Let's keep focusing on the civilian factory. I think that'd be really good to work on, though. And currently... That means we only have two. Uh, what happened to the other dockyard then? Uh, it goes to the Empire. Oh, big sadness. Austria then. Yeah, that military stuff can wait. This one will be done though on May 3rd in less than a month. So then we'll can improve this a little more. July 1864. Not bad. Uh, continue army reform recruitment. Okay. And the division is here. Uh, quite a few divi different divisions. There goes Mexico. Mexico is populated by Mexico. Good job, Mexico. I don't think we have anyone new here yet, so okay. And... I can't raise political stability because I don't have enough political power, and I don't have enough political power because I don't have enough stability. Seems all very bad to me. Uh, let's see. Mechanical engineering. Factory output. Might not be bad. Logging camps. Cap and growth. Why not? I'm just focusing almost exclusively on industry, but... All right, so this is almost done. Let's see. Send for Bismarck. Let's see what he does for us. Send for Bismarck. The time has come to consider drastic measures. We need someone strong enough to deal with Parliament. Send for Bismarck in Paris. Per Periculum in Moda. Depeches vous. Okay. Oh, wow. There's lots up there. All right. Lucan Terry. Proposed by Prime Minister von Bismarck, as per this concept, the King and, and not the Parliament will have the power to decide in question where the Constitution cannot provide the main answer. More legislative power gain. Oh, crap. There's so much here. Oh, befriend Russia. Okay. Fight the Libs. Real politique. Shut down Parliament. 
when can we go to war with the da Danes? Like, for real. I need to look it up. Like, because... Uh, come on. I, I just want to be up with some Danish people here. It's already 1863, so... And by the time I fade out here, we'll I'll probably have another event very, very soon. And I was quite correct. Almost immediately after I fade and fade out, well, we public up war in the German Confederation. The Danish king, Frederick VII, has announced his intentions to bind the Duchy of Schleswig once more closely to Denmark. Many inhabitants of Schleswig are Germans, and this would cons constitute an obvious breach of the London Protocol. The public is fuming across Germany, and the German Confederation surely needs to respond to such threats. Scandalous. Um, von Bismarck chosen as new prime minister. After intense discussion with the new candidate, Willem I, king of Prussia, has announced his desire to continue the fight for his desired army reform against parliament, and with that has chosen Otto von Bismarck as the new prime minister of Prussia. Prussia's position in Germany will not be determined by its liberalism, but pa its power. Hopefully we can do more stuff here. Let's close it up and turn it back open. Deliver Blut und Eisen speech to the Budget Commission. Sure, why not? Let's see what happens. Yes, we're third in the world. Look at that. Probably just because of their military projection. I don't know if I said that before. There's so many things I say again and again and again, so... We'll see what happens. Is anyone suffering from attrition? Hopefully not. We still are lacking quite a few things here. Oh, that is not looking good around here. Um, let's get rid of some of these guys. Let's see. Select all. Let's go down to three, and there you go. Head on out of here, because supply is not looking very good for us right now. Okay, now supply is looking a little bit better. That's good. Otto von Bismarck delivered blood and iron speech to Budget Commission. The new Prime Minister Otto von Bismarck concluded yesterday's speech with the following statement. Not through speeches and majority of decisions will the great questions of the day be decided. That was the great mistake of 48 and 49, but by blood and iron. The delegates are still uncertain about his intentions, but they feel reaffirmed in their prejudices against the alleged conservative agitator Bismarck. Reich nach Blut. So, we're still missing 147. So maybe I should not have chosen this guy. Because the centrists... Can I, can I fire him? Actually, that'd be kind of cool if you could just fire people. Like, you're not going to hire anyone else, but you could just fire people. But the Allgemeine Deutsche Arbeitsverein Foundation. The social agenda is spreading throughout Europe and will not be spared. Supporters of the German workers' movement has gathered in Leipzig, Saxony today to establish Germany's first labor part of the General German Workers' Association Allgemeine Deutsche Arbeitsverein Dav. Uh... Headed by a certain Ferdinand Lassalle, the party delegates predominantly support a reformist socialist agenda, Mann der Arbeit aufgewacht. Wow. Alright, well, whatever. Good luck, guys. And Cologne Cathedral, interior complete. After more than 300 painful years of sandstone at the construction site of the Cologne Cathedral, the final phase to complete the greatest church in Germany has been started under the late King Friedrich Wilhelm IV in 1842. Now, more than 20 years after the cornerstone ceremony, the continuation. The cathedral's nave and transept have been completed, which means that the interior is finally almost fully accessible, only the towers remain unfinished. Another parliament dissolution. Bismarck governs without a budget. The king seems to be tying his face to that fate of Bismarck. After the majority of delegates reass reassure the Prime Minister that they would not change their minds on the pending army reform budget, the King has once again dissolved Parliament. Bismarck now governs without a budget, and it will be interesting to see how it justifies this outright breach of the law. Let's see, what does the Constitution say? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Let's grab some cast iron industrialization, because we can. Still minus one, minus 0.49. It's looking slightly better, but still not very good. Which is big sadness. Is there any way we can get out of this, like this pit? Because there doesn't seem like anything we can do. Maybe if we go to war... Maybe cause maybe that'll fix it. If we just have a simple little war, maybe that'll fix things, right? New Zealand, declare war on some people? Oh. Foundation of the, of the Einstag Deutsche Arbeitsverein. The social agenda is spreading throughout Europe, and now we will not be spared. As a reaction to the foundation of the ADAV, supporters of a different approach within German workers' movement have gathered in Frankfurt today to establish another labor party, the Congress of German Workers' Associations, or the Vereinstag Deutsche Arbeitvereine. Leopold Sonemann, Max Hirsch, and Eugene Richter are among the leaders of the new party who, at the very moment, predominantly support a reformist social agenda, although the revolutionary wing is gaining power and Erkana Deine Macht. Socialism. Cool. Not depending on your political viewpoints, I guess. Whatever. All right, look, 5 out of 15. Not bad. Not bad. And we're doing Look and Terry, which will help us with legislative power gain, uh, legislative power period, which would be kind of nice, I will say. And then Real Politik, fight the libs. I kind of want to fight the libs. But I don't get that immediate uh, political power. So, we must embrace Big Mart's idea of politics, smartly reacting to circumstances in the real world and thereby maneuvering ourselves into the best possible position, but not proposing any ideas of our own. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, look at that. We need some decisions here, maybe? Oh, von Bismarck is here. Oh, look at this. Oh, Kruppel Flow. Oh, look at that. We lose army XP, but that's okay. Research for... Ooh. Army expansion by decree. Oh, hopefully we have enough for this. If not, that's going to really hurt us. 
Um, strengthen the general stab. Even less power. I want more power. Line reforms, Victorian system. Vision speed, just max entrenchment. I like that. Let's get more entrenchment. Cool. And we are slowly getting some more political power every single day. Or army XP, I should really say. Because uh, of the budget, because of observing the American Civil War. How is that going, actually? Oh, Bismarck's cabinet unlocks Bismarck's ministers. Uh, not much is going on. Kentucky, the CSA is not doing as well anymore. They've lost a little portion of Kentucky, but honestly, not that much. So. And how much world tension is there? We can't really tell. Can I send volunteers? Join <laughs> That'd be funny if we could join wars. Uh, volunteers, no. Currently, 70% world tension. Uh, let's see. Protestantism. Mostly Protestantism as well. Manpower? Oh, that's not good. These guys have a little bit more manpower than these guys. And these guys are what? What does this symbol mean up here? Republican Party centrist. Oh, and they rely by the Constitutional American Party. Okay, makes sense. Cool. Uh, this will help us slightly better. Slightly, slightly better. And real politic. Nice. Uh, really not much else here really for us right now. So, so let's keep an eye on what's happening down here. And what our army's up to. Nice. Hopefully, I mean, it looks like we could probably do pretty darn well against these guys. Uh, yeah, when was that war between these guys? I don't know, but I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to just go ahead and just... Mo oh, 15% more attack. They nerfed that earlier to be 10%, not 15%. So they went, they went back, huh? Recon bonus. I'm ready to just whip some people into action here. I'm ready to go. Let's go, 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 go. I want to go to war, man. I'm so ready for war. Oh, stability's not looking very good now, is it? Legitimacy is minus 8%. Why is it that? What? Wait, what's going on? What is going on? War support? Okay. You have decent legitimacy. Currently drifting minus 2% towards equilibrium. Oh, that sucks. Uh, just the legitimacy. Um, I don't understand that legitimacy. Uh, I need to play e or EU4 then. Uh, equilibrium modifiers. It's just going down. Which is killing our national stability. We're trying to raise up our national stability as well. Oh, do you have anything else here? Oh, yeah. War games. Krupp artillery. Oh, we like the blueprints. I, I really like the blueprint stuff, so. Land auction would be actually very nice to get, though, first. Let's grab that one. 99% of the way done. Cool. And after Rio Politik, Buffen Russia. We like Russia. More daily. Ooh, weekly manpower. Yes. Contest Austria's Presidialmacht. Presidialmacht. Oh, is this going to piss off the Austrians? Maybe. Federal execution against Denmark pending. Several member states of the German Confederation are calling for a federal execution against Denmark. As the Danish king is rather the ruler of the duchies of Holstein and Lauenburg, which are part of the German Confederation, he is accountable for the proposed act of tyranny against the German people and Schleswig-Holstein could be brought to justice this way. A storm is brewing. Cool. Fight the libs. I want to get that extra political power, so... All right, what else do we have here? Anything here? Monthly population. Uh, is there anything for guns? It is 63, 62. No, we have to wait for 64. Artillery is looking okay. That's a little bit ahead of time, so we'll get away on that. Oh, grab this. Yes. All right, artillery core. Nice. More heart attack? Sure, we like it hard, I guess. Why not? And where are we with this? Minus 0.4. Not terrible. Not great. So I think we'll contest Austria's Presidialmacht. Despite a rather undeveloped economy, their internal struggles as a multinational empire, and the failure in the Sardinian War, the Austrians still claim presidency over all other members of the German Confederation. We will no longer are willing to accept this and demand equal status. A uh, vote, uh, Diet in Frankfurt. Austria is called an, a Diet of the German Confederation in Frankfurt, where they will be attempting to strengthen their interests in regards to the Confederation. Every member state has the right to vote on the proposal, and now it is our turn to support Austria. Why would we support Austria? We're going to vote against them. Anything Austria wants, we don't want. Anything they don't want, we probably want. Our vote. The uh, Frankfurter Reformacht. Austria has recently proposed a Frankfurter Reformacht to the members of the, Aust the German Confederation. Those reforms will strengthen their nation by means of some laws and will also move the German Confederation towards being a nation of states. Or state of nations. The question is, will we support this reform? It will probably be taxing for a country. Uh, what? what? Propose a Frankfurter Reformacht to the members... Strengthen their nation by means of some laws. Also move the German Confederation towards a state of nations. Is that good or bad thing? I can't tell. Like, um, always false. 
This obvious power grab, we're going to vote against it. Why not? Nice. So now it's minus 0.28, which is looking a little bit better. We're not looking good now, are we? Uh, we still have some traditional conservatists. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to go back to traditional conservatism, I guess, if we can. Consumer goods, I love, love, love. But the next person we'll probably get, whenever we can afford it, of course, will not be this guy. Will not be this guy. Krupp, I like Krupp a lot. Uh, actually, this guy, this, this, this is okay. He's not as Kruppy as, as Krupp is. That's not terrible. It's not bad. We'll probably go with Influential Rider. Yeah, hey, actually, we definitely want to go Influential Rider because we get more legislative power gain, which would be nice. That'd be pretty good. So, every time, like I said, I fade in, fade out. There's a new event. I, I'm tempted to do it right now, but let's at least get some machine tools done first, I suppose. We're looking not too bad here, really, we're not. Hopefully we can beat the crap out of these guys, because these guys, I think, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, I made 10 combat with, which is four more combat with than what we started off with, so, we'll see. Then again, I don't know how strong Russia is, so, yeah. Come on, can I just beat up some Danes? Seriously, when did they go to war, historically? Uh, what is this point? Point minus point two nine. Alright, so Machine Tools 1 is done, almost. Logging counts would probably be good to do. Okay, more army recruitment. Okay, okay. And... There we go, let's grab them. Just throw them over here, and force them to train. And if we need to, we can probably extend this by maybe one or two more. That's probably totally fine. Anyone have any sort of issues? Yeah, I don't know. I, I I would like to see some sort of map mode where we can see the German Confederation here. Just like, so we can see, like, it should basically look like what Germany basically is. United Germany, but I... Oh, that's I just would like to see things happen. Oh, executive... Uh, act Execution against Denmark, motion granted. The motion to conduct a federal execution against Denmark has secured a majority in the Bundestag of the German Confederation and therefore has been granted. Frederick will regret this. More worse part in legislative power? Yay! Come on, let's go to war, come on! Let's go! Actually, these guys aren't all horses. The Ulans? They're only four. Oh, Jesus Christ, only four? That's not good. But I assume the enemies are also four. But yeah, look at this. Ten combo with. A lot more horses. We need a lot more cavalry equipment. That's pretty much the main thing we're missing right now. Yeah, we're missing a lot of cavalry. And we're only making howitzers as well now, so. We're going to need to keep a lot of guns in reserve. Oh, man, this is not good. We could use more military factories, but try to build more. Oh, we could. Do we build another dockyard? Look at that. Hey, 1864, not bad. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to complete this. Um, by decree. I don't know if we're going to be able to complete that. I don't know. Oh, Danish Parliament approves. November Constitution. Despite threats from the German Confederation, the Danish Parliament has approved the November Constitution. The further development seems to lie in the hands of the Danish King now, who needs to put the Constitution into effect. Outrageous? Oh boy. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can actually complete this. We need a bigger industry. <laughs> oh, yay! Now it's A! Hey, we're actually making stuff! But it's only because we're not doing a focus. Eh. Dockyards. Well, you make more dockyards then. There you go. Uh, I really want to make get that spirit. Uh, all right, uh, we'll do it there too. There you go. Two at the same time. All right, but friend Russia, we like Russia, right? The Russians have helped us in fighting off Napoleon. The legacy of the Holy Alliance still subsists between our nations. Having them on our side or keeping them neutral in any future conflict will be paramount to our success. We can also make use of Bismarck's connection to St. Petersburg. Cool, Ar Armenia bond. Armenia, as a student of corpor student corporations, recently founded in November by the 6th at the University of Bonn. The name was chosen in reference to Armenius, the chief of the Cheruski. It is a Catholic student organization. All right. New gateway to the east. Cool. Opening the Grand Suez Canal. Okay. We get five prestige. Is there any other way we can see prestige except just by hovering over this? Maybe not. Growth. We like growth. Build, 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 build. 64, not bad. 64, the end of the year, not bad. Oh, look at that, four. Nice. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. I don't think we'll be able to get that done, yeah. I don't like this one. I don't like it a lot. Mm. Two more building sites. You get two more naval bases, but not dockyards. And building those two naval bases shouldn't take too long, so. Subsidize the ship. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, we need so much political power for that, though. Oh my goodness, it's open. So, uh, if, so with the Suez complete, does that mean like we can use it? Do, can can we? Maybe maybe not. Hope we can. That wouldn't make any sense why we can't. We literally invested into it, so. Oh, this complex is not good. And it's still getting worse. It looks so old. Well, maybe not so old, but just kind of tired. <laughs> it's like, I'm tired of putting up with people's crap. Death of King Frederick VII. News reaches the German Confederation that King Frederick VII of Denmark has passed away. This comes unexpected and has died childless. His succession was always going to be controversial. The London Protocol designates heir presumptive Christian IX of Schleswig Holstein Sonnenberg Glücksburg as a new king, but his German ancestry has been met with resistance from Danish elites. It'll certainly be interesting how things unfold from now on. This is unexpected. And Dolzig Proclamation. Uh, Friedrich Christian August claims the duchies of Schleswig Holstein. Following the death of King Frederick VII, the prince of the house of Schleswig Holstein Sonnenberg Augustenberg by the name of Friedrich Christian August, August has claimed the throne of the duchies of Schleswig Holstein and Lauenburg despite his father's renunciation of state titles, an unexpected turn. Christian IX enacts the November Constitution. Despite the threats of federal execution, the new king of Denmark, Christian IX, has signed the November Constitution into law. This is the breach of the London Protocol. We cannot stand idly by and watch him take the Duchy of Schleswig, which is German in both hot and soil, without consequences. In action will be a betrayal of Germany. Motion to activate federal execution against Denmark. Following the signing of the November Constitution into law, public uproar in Germany has reached a new climax. We have, we have to respond. A motion to activate the federal execution against Denmark has already been filed. How will we respond to Frankfurt? With a lot of blood and iron, I suppose. Hopefully a lot of blood and iron. And now, activate a federal execution against Denmark. Motion granted. News has reached us from Frankfurt. The motion to activate the federal execution against Denmark has carried. Zuden Waffen. This unlocked both foci following the Schleswig Holstein question in the Prussian Focus Street. We have a decision to make. More war support, political power. Very good. And we're almost done befriending Russia. Thank goodness. So let's come down here. So we have the Schleswig Holstein question. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Opposition sinks. It did not come to surprise anyone. But many governmental politicians who tried to oppose conservative party have quieted down thanks to our efforts. However, it is to be assumed that there are still people who would like to see anyone else as a leader of the Kingdom of Prussia than Otto von Bismarck that have accepted the factual truth. Occupation of Holstein, the region is complete chaos. Ooh. A uh, German federal army consisting of Saxon and Hanover and troops have occupied Holstein. Cool. Claim, support claim of House Augustenberg. Bundes execution against Denmark. A new German Mittelstadt. Requires to unlock the Peace of Frankfurt in the Second Schleswig War, or cooperate with Austria, the historical option, invade Schleswig, Austro Prussian con condominium. Huh. Well, I, I, we're going pretty good. Pretty, there we go. Words are difficult. We're going pretty historical here, so we'll probably go with cooperate with Austria then. The German Confederation may wish for another solution, but they will have to face the reality. Prussia and Austria alone are the military might to solve the Schleswig Holstein question once and for all, and we are willing to do just that. We give more war support and cooperation and Schleswig Holstein. Take matters into our own hands. You bet we will, boys and girls. Uh, let's see anything else here. More crop stuff. We'll get some more army XP. Uh, we can buy ships from Britain as well now, but whatever. Unite the German states. We shall unite the German states under one banner the way Bismarck proposed it as an authoritarian empire. Um, owns most of the important German states and either Luxembourg or Alsace. Oh, boy. Unite Germany as an authoritarian empire. Military organization troubles, less division organization and planning speed. That's a lot of uh, PP. But hey, look at that! We still lose legislative power, but we're positive, and we've no political stability. Federal execution is successful. The Federal Expedition reports under the Saxon Lieutenant General Gustav von Hacke has successfully occupied the Duchy of Holstein all the way up to the north. All the way up to the city of Rendsburg without meeting Danish resistance. Although numerically superior, the Danish armies retreated across the Elder River and to Schleswig, probably to wait for the developments. Ut gute Arbeit. Alright, at least something's happening, finally. Oh wait, um... Oh wait, they actually took over Holstein. Oh. Well, we already have military access through here, so... Yeah. Now if we were to do this... Can we move into here? Can we go through them? I guess not. Uh, just do something like that. Just just stay where you're at for now. Uh, hopefully we got something kind of carnival. Oh, we could do that, technically, yeah. Could get more stability more quickly while well, legitimacy is god awful right now. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh boy. War support's okay, we've got enough of that. Army XP so still slowly going up, and after cooperate with Austria, we shall invade Schleswig. 
The ultimatum we delivered to Denmark has expired. Denmark's foul play has, has to end. They might be able to intimidate the Greek mi the Greek miners, the German miners. But Prussia and Austria will not back down and abandon the people of Schleswig. Declaration of war against Denmark? Oh, I hope so. I really hope so. I'm ready for something here. Some sort of conflict in which hopefully we can do well. We might do very poorly, but you never know. Take time to take matters into our own hands. The Danish, uh, the Federal Expeditionary Force has successfully conducted the federal execution against Denmark, but only Holstein and Lauenburg are in German hands now, and the Bundestag is shying away from military confrontation with the Danes. However, we must not turn a blind eye to the outrageous Danish power grab. It's time to take matters into our own hands and protect the German people of Holstein too. Jawohl. The Schleswig of Elsa and Ultimatum. The Danish army is retreated across the Elder River. Or no, it's not Elder, it's Ida River. The river, the so-called Dankwerke, and other fortifications across Schleswig project it, protect it from annihilation. This means that although we enjoy numerical and technological advantage, a potential war might make may, might take more time and lives than we hope for. But for the sake of the German people's Schleswig and the glory of king and country, that is the risk that we are willing to have to take. Issue a 48-hour ultimatum to vacate Schleswig and to revoke the November Constitution. Oh, we got 91 political power now. Um, I'm going to wait for the things to happen. Oh, the cabinet? Yes. Unlocks his ministers would be kind of nice. Anything else here before we do anything else? Actually, I do want to get another minister, but we don't have enough political power for this, so. Wow, this costs even more. Uh, the, it has expired, the ultimatum has. Denmark has provoked us by rejecting the ultimatum. They've been acting up enough, enough for long enough. It is time for war. The German people of Schleswig-Holstein will be free from their oppressors. After all, the Dan Danish insolence will end soon. Becomes control and owner. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Cool. Invade Schleswig. Alright, boys, you were asking for it. You are asking for it, boys. A lot of divisions here. Actually, just do it like a defensive front line. There you go. 38 divisions. That's honestly probably way too many for two little tiles here, but whatever. Alright. Other ships. Go to political legitimacy. Anything else? This and here at all. Um, well, I could order more ships. Let's do big Bismarck's cabinet. That's probably the better thing to do there. Minus point zero one, so basically not getting anything. And we're barely losing things too, so. Oh, we're not suffering any attrition. That's nice. That's actually very nice. Declaration of War against Denmark. The Danish are still refusing to give in to our demands. This means war. We will give the order to cross the Idel River within the next few hours. Zudenwaffen. I know. What, what would happen if we just did that? Can we just win? Oh, they got forts. They got. We have a stacking penalty. We're attacking from multiple different directions. Our guys are better than Glod du Platt. And then, what is this? Austro-Prussian con condom condominium. The path towards liberation is clear for Schleswig Holstein as Denmark will lose the war. The future of the Dutchies people will lie in the safe hands of Austria and Prussia, which is nice. I hope oh, hopefully this won't take too long. Oh, look at that. They're, are, what are they doing? How are they losing this much strength? Holy crap. I mean, we're, we're losing quite a bit of strength too, but Jesus. That's not bad. Can we actually just win here? We might still just be able to... Oh, maybe not. I mean, it's, it's looking not too good for us. But it's not, not, not looking too bad. Um, is there anything very quick that we can do here for our focus? Uh, 70 days. 70 day focuses. I mean, I don't like 70 day focuses. I'll be honest. I hate 70 day focuses. I really, really, really do not like them. Oh, boy. 70, 70, 70. Jesus Christ. Everything is 70. Oh, no. Mmm... Fight the libs, I guess. Liberals stand in their way. We must deal with them. Well, I guess it's going to take at least 70 days, so I guess it makes sense. Makes sense. We should be able to do okay here. Prussian reserves mobilizing. Prussia has, throughout history, established a system where the military is a strong, well-trained force of reserves to fall back on in wartime. Since we are not war, it is time for reserves to mobilize. This will help our war effort. Weekly manpower goes up. Mobilization speed goes up by 100%. Division training time goes down. More recruitable population. Attack and defense on core territory. Experience soldiers' losses. Uh, opposition rises. I don't give a crap about what the opposition wants. Uh, who are you? Lombardi Vinestio? Um, sure. Why not? Hey, we're slowly winning here. Oh, crap. They keep throwing more soldiers in here. We're really just killing off a lot of the enemy's cavalry. But then again, our strength is dropping too, which is not very good. Maybe I should not use cavalry for this. But look at that. Holy crap. Are they doing like... Do they have last stand here? No, they don't. Oh, my goodness. I'm enjoying it, though. Uh, sure. Let's see. We've lost 900 versus... 6,500? Not bad. Not bad. We have 127 divisions. Holy crud. Or is this battalions? No, it says divisions. I don't think we have that. Well, maybe we do have that many, huh? Oh, industrial air tools. Hey, we broke over the river. Nice. Let's get some more output, shall we? No construction speed. Naval oh, naval doctor to stay level 9. Nice. 
Good job, guys. Oh, the supply is so bad, though. Oh, holy crud. I can't imagine Denmark having that much manpower, do they? Oh, they got plenty of manpower. Reforms, nice. If you'd like to do that, please go this direction or something. Spread it out the love, you know. There you go. That's, that's a little better. Uh, extra supply. Supply grace. Uh, I prefer logistics wizard. But that's just me, maybe. Come on. Don't ruin my supplies like this, guys. There you go. Hey. We actually won. Nice. We won there, though. I'll beat him up. Beat him up. We lost how many? 6,000. Jeez. Well, we killed 19,000, which makes sense, though. So. Hey, we beat him up. Good job, guys. I don't want to lose too many guys. We can only afford so much until we become the North German Federation, or whatever it's called. New, new tactics? Sure, why not? Grab it. That'd be good. Good. Well, not bad. Actually, occupied territories. Uh, no, no, we're already doing pretty well on that stuff. Let's see. Mm. Suppression is four. Ulanden is suppression is three. Husaren looks pretty good so far. Maybe Husaren divisions. Inspiring war speech, one of Republic figures has recently held a big speech in order to decrease the support for our current war. The speech was a huge success. The crowd cheered and the Prussian soldiers riled up for victory. War support goes up for a little bit longer. Alright. Copenhagen will fall, hopefully. The London Conference is becoming more and more obvious that Denmark is going to lose this war, and so do the negotiations for a peace deal have begun. The British Foreign Secretary Earl Russell has invited the belligerents and the other European great powers to London in order to reach an agreement. A temporary occupied Schleswig from Denmark, as long as the peace, will, peace conference lasts, should the conference be able to yield results, the war will continue. Uh, okay. There you go, you guys can just kind of hang out for now. We lost quite a few guys, but it's alright. Uh, you guys kind of hang out right there, I suppose. And then you guys hang out right there. And then you guys come on down here for now. I don't know, something like that. Oh, how much more stuff do we... Oh my gosh, we need so much for... Hmm. Oh, we're going to need stuff anyway, so... Hopefully we can core this stuff. It's only going up, so I don't like... Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Fight the libs. Has broken down inconclusively. Yeah, that's probably going to happen. Break the dualism. For the proposed an alliance with Italy. 1866. Bundes reform plan. So, now what? I guess we just have to wait, I suppose. And if that's the case, oh, there goes Qing Empire. The reserves demobilized. When the war is over, the men and the support we've drawn from the reserve system are no longer needed. Back to the reserves you go. Cool. Move Austria. Oh, successfully avoided the Second Strasbourg War. It's currently been avoided by the German Confederation. Has won. Okay. Strained our relationship with Austria and most of the Zolverine members. Shut down Parliament. Issue the press ordinas. Cool. The liberal press is undermining the king's authority. We need to put an end to this, even if it means restricting the freedom of the press. Alright, whatever. It's just freedom of the press, right? Oh, look at that. We have five, now we have six. Make more capital ships. Early frigates, huh? Uh, yeah, this one's a capital ship. Do we have any more just cheap capital ships? Because we can scrap them when we're done. I just want the stupid modifier thing. Oh, this is convoys, huh? So it's you, right? Yep, there we go. Cool. Brazil, uh, sure, we'll come. Brazil, yes. Yes, Brazil, yes. Minus one is not good. Minus point one eight, not bueno, but whatever. And, come on. Why, why does it take so long to do the stupid London thingy? We're literally, why, why can we core this, hopefully? I'd like to core it, please. Danish, we killed off quite a few enemies. We lost quite a few guys, like I said, but I thought we did pretty darn well. Alright, so what are we lacking? Are we improving cavalry? Oh, the Rio de Janeiro City Royal Fair. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Cavalry equipment. London Conference, Prussian vote. Alright, the time's coming to vote on the conference's proposed treaties. Russell's proposal. Denmark will annex Schleswig entirely, whilst the state of Holstein will remain a sovereign entity but under Prussian control. 
Uh, we will support Bismarck's proposal. North Schleswig will be annexed by Denmark, while the southern part of Schleswig and Holstein will be united and put under austro prussian control. By use of proposal, duchies of Schleswig Holstein will be entirely separated from Denmark and form an united and free duchy that will become an independent member of the German Confederation. Bismarck, we gotta go Bismarck the entire way. So this part is Jutland. This is North Schleswig. That's Schleswig. North Schleswig will be annexed by them. North Schleswig. Uh. Yeah. We of course we will support Bismarck, because why wouldn't we? Sixty-four. Let's grab some Salaback uh, bayonets. Actually, if you want to read about this one, I already did this one off screen. So yeah. These improved percussion caps will make our rifles even more reliable. Very nice. Very nice. Core population of about less about twenty million. Oh, look at that! A little more manpower. I like it. All right. I hope we can unify all the North German states here, because but we have to beat up the Austrians first. Uh, we should still be able to do okay. They do have entrenchment, which we should probably get some entrenchment, but we need more factories. I'm trying to build more dockyards of all things right now, so yeah, we gonna need more guns. We make about ten a day, which is not bad compared to horses. Well, we make two. Artillery pieces today. Break down a London conference. None of the propounded proposed proposals or whatever could manage to secure unanimity. And the London conference is broken down inconclusively. It was broken down inconclusively, although neither side was ready too much to make, to make a, much of a sacrifice. Denmark has been blamed to be primarily responsible for the conference's failure. The war will continue. Additionally, this will unlock another focus on the Prussian tree. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. Oh, man. I know it's supposed to be historical, but come on. We will beat him once. We'll beat him again. Hey, man. For my wars, if we win, like, it's going to be complete victory. Like, I'm not going to play around here. No, 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 no. Uh, Reserves mobilizing again. Rides in the streets. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Um, there's nothing I can do about this. This is stupid. Why? Why should we have rides in the streets? There's nothing I can do about the stupid political stability. <laughs> Why? Man. I don't know about this mod, man. I don't know. Go straight in and kill them off. Uh, artillery core. Oh, let's get that one done. That's nice. Standardized production. Very good. We could actually really, really, really use that. Dry puddling. Cool. Poodling. Puddling. Factory output. Oh, that's really good for us. Go ahead and kill off the rest of those Danes. We've lost about a thousand. We've killed off another sixteen and a half thousand. Denmark, this is exactly what you deserve right now. Alright, well, I demand them to be a puppet of us. Um, can horses navally invade? Come on, game. Stop lagging. There you go. Do that. Do what you can, of course, but still. So... Yeah, we'll do this one. Prerequisite to unlock... Denmark sues for peace. Okay. News reaches the German Confederation that the Danes will sue for peace. The war seems to be over, and that's all that's left now is, both, is for both sides to come to terms. The, Den the Danes will certainly be in a, fav in a far worse bargaining position now than, than at the London Conference, though. What will happen now... Why do we have such low stability? I mean, Jesus Christ, I think that's, that's so stupid. There's nothing you can do about that. Hmm, well, at least we won. It's nice. Legitimacy is pretty low, or relatively low, not too bad. Drifting minus point one towards equilibrium. Danziger episode. Denziger. The freedom of press, uh, restriction of the freedom of the press, does not have many supporters in Germany. Not all members of the closest royal family agree with it. Crown Prince Friedrich Wilhelm spoke to the press this morning during his official visit in Danzig. Although very cautious, his words did express a sense of criticism against his father, King Wilhelm I. Those will certainly have repercussions. How dare he? Prussia reserved to mobilizing Prussian investors subsidized cotton farm. That's cool. Praise the free market. Cool. Very good. All right, more population is nice. More manpower is, of course, very nice as well. 1866. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, 900 days. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to complete this. I selected this way too early. So, then again, it says we could build it up, but it's not, it's impossible to do it. I don't, I don't think it is possible, which I don't like. Uh, so, I'm pretty much just waiting here now for 
The Peace Conference of Fire. And we should be able to get one, if not two, like stability, right? I'm not even making anything anymore. Yeah, that's not good. But it's improving our cavalry equipment, I guess. Even though using that for stuff is okay. Common sided, people are always superstitious, and the appearance of a common in the Prussian skies cause a panic in a country. Our population, the commit it's a sign of what? And and is not the economy fuels. I wish I lived in more enlightened times. Uh it's an omen. Well, yeah, minus one percent stability. Eh, could be worse. Yeah, if I knew it was gonna be this bad, I would have just kept political power. Like I wouldn't have spent all of it. Alright, come on. Yeah, I'm halfway tempted to unite all of Africa, because this is... That's a bit extreme. Just a little bit. Omani Tanzania. Tanzania. Oh, Omani Kenya. Are they colonizing? Hmm. What is that? Current detrimental colonial impact. Morocco looks pretty okay. Tripolitania uh, Senussi. Ottomans looking pretty Ottoman-like. What are the Russians up to? Wow. He's got a face. Oh, he's, he looks pretty content. Agnor Golchuski. Alright. Now, oh, reinforced concrete is pretty nice to grab. More output? Yes. Definitely get more output. How's the UK doing? Oh, look. They own Ireland. Lord Palmerston. Alright. Hudson. Does this part have a Hudson? Oh, wow. Who are you? John Shepard. Whoa. Anything unique here? No, it looks like a generic type of focus tree, so. Province of Canada, led by Mr. Dude, who looks like a ram. British Crown, huh? And auto saving the Maritime Treaty, okay. Oh, there we go. Bring Canada closer to unification. That's kind of cool. Canadian Confederation. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, they just. I'm glad I was looking at these guys. Oh, how's the war going? Austro Prussian Condominium, Vavats. And. Always false. Has no effect. End of the Second Schleswig War. The Schleswig Holstein question has successfully been resolved. A proud day for Germany. All right. And shut down Parliament. Our Parliament continues to. Okay, Treaty of Vienna first. The Danish finally agreed to our terms. The people of Schleswig Holstein can rejoice, for they have been freed from the centuries of Danish oppression. Glory to King Velma and Torvatalan. Rejoice. Nice. That was to be expected. Cool. Awesome. We got that done. Um. All right. Well, I guess we'll shut down Parliament next. We can then eventually do this one. Parliament continues to oppose a budget for the armor reform. On top of that, we, they have repeatedly demanded the Prime Minister's de demission. We can find a way to circumvent obstacles in the Constitution, simply shut the Parliament's doors to avoid new elections. This won't last long, but it will certainly buy us some time. Who is my Oh, I don't know if I like this mod if it just keeps throwing less stability at us for no real reason. But anyways, I think that's going to end it from here today. I think this video has gone on way long enough and uh, has tested my patience some more. But regardless, if you enjoyed it, Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, it really does help me out. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you in the next episode where we'll hopefully go to war with the Austrians. And probably not the French yet, but at least the Austrians. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.